obviously, you know, Central Florida came out, a lot of pop, a lot of juice. Our team uh, didn't have a physical approach to it on either end, give Central Florida credit. Uh, and obviously we, we settled in and, and made a run and got it to four, went with kind of a new lineup. And it's good to see Malik Ewing play well. Josh Mabala has been playing better in practice. Uh, we started that lineup in the second half, thought we got off to a good start, got it to four. They made a couple of tough shots, and then it flipped again. The offensive rebound the ball, we couldn't guard the dribble. Uh, so give Central Florida a lot of credit for, for a good road win tonight. You mentioned uh, Malik. He played by far his most minutes of the season. What's kind of giving you the confidence to give him extended time? We're, we're just trying guys. We're trying guys. He's, he's been playing a lot better in practice. He had some good moments in the game. Uh, you know, we, 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 the guys, we started having trouble rebounding the ball. So it's when we went to Josh and Malik, I thought they rebounded a little bit better. You know, Josh Mabala was a physical guy. He's our most physical player tonight. Uh, you know, Miles Burns, who has really gotten us off to some really good starts, didn't have his, his toughness and physical approach. You know, I mean, he's got to hang his hat on defending, physical approach, rebounding. Uh, so just, you know, we, we were trying different guys, and, uh, and he gave us a great spark to end the half. Obviously, with the, the 21 nothing hole, other than kind of the physicality, kind of as you mentioned, you know, were there other things that kind of factored into that as well? Yeah, I mean, just uh, inability to, to play downhill offensively. We had done so well in the last game. Uh, we settled, just ball movement wasn't very good. Uh, missed a couple shots around the goal, and then we couldn't keep those guys out of the paint. And so it was just too big of a hole, you know. And uh, But we did get the game right to four. I think they made a real hard shot at the end of a clock, and it just seemed like we couldn't we couldn't get it back. They got the 50-50 ball game uh, kind of flipped again. Kermit, do you, I guess you kind of had a similar problem against Memphis. Yep. Um, do you worry about that becoming a mental Yeah, I do. We just talked about it to our team, sure. You know, I mean, uh, the margin's there. You know, it's, uh, it's poor. And uh, I take full responsibility for it. We've got to get off to better starts. Uh, we'll look at maybe some different guys that we've we've played. You know, we're trying a lot of guys on our team. We tried our 13 tonight, which I thought was effective. We tried it early. Uh, one thing we did really good at at Memphis was doubling ball screens, and we did it twice in the first minute, and we couldn't. Our rotations were poor, and so it's something we had been good at, didn't execute it uh, here, and then just our inability for ball movement and playing downhill uh, offensively. UCF, I think coming in was just giving up just like just barely right over 60 points a game just what makes that defense kind of so challenging what's made it so challenging they got great football? length I mean they got they got really good length and uh, good players and uh, they do a lot of switching they force you to kind of make shots in the perimeter and uh, you know I guess what Amari made one and Josh made one and uh, besides that Matt made the rest of them uh, but they make you score over length and uh, you know, and around that goal, they were long. I thought we had a lot of opportunities in that uh, early part around the goal. They kind of they blocked shots, intimidated us. So that's something we've got to get better at. Last game, I think it was 21 turnovers. You guys forced and got 36 points off those turnovers. What are you guys doing well when you're forcing those turnovers? Is it effort? I guess what is the difference when things are going well? Yeah, I mean, we, you know, obviously the level of competition has something to do with it. And, uh, you know, can we turn over teams – you know, like Central Florida, who I think is an NCAA tournament team. And uh, tonight we didn't. I thought we were we, – we forced a lot of chaos. And sometimes a turnover is you don't, you don't turn them over, but it's kind of their inability to be able to run what they want to run and have to score in other ways. And I thought for about 10 minutes we did a really good job with that. Anything else? Thanks, guys. Thanks.